I had a calling to come here and it sounds, it might sound, I don't know how it sounds, but I, I just felt like I was supposed to be here. I always had a really strong connection to India when I was a child, so <laughs> I don't know, maybe I was always supposed to come here. Recently, probably for about the past year, something started to change within me. I started to really uh, not feel content in the life that I had, even though technically I had everything that I should ever want. I had the great job, I had the partner, um, I was fortunate enough to um, go through a process that made me actually start to accomplish a lot of my dreams, but I felt like there was a yearning to find out a little bit more. I'm here in Kungri Monastery after signing up for Monk for a Month and it's interesting to say the least but absolutely breathtaking. My room is actually much better than I imagined. When I, when I first signed up I had this image of me being in a monastery with a million monks. It's beautiful, the surroundings are breathtaking, there's mountains surrounding from every corner and the flowers, oh, bluebells everywhere, there's oh, just everything, it, it, it's honestly beautiful, you can't even put it into words. When I first turned up at the monastery it was, it was much more beautiful than I imagined actually and it's been quite it's really hard to describe because each day brings something completely different I think one of the main things that I've really started to realize is that the amount that you can actually live with so back in the UK you think that you need this and that and the latest gadgets and here you kind of strip it all back and you realize that you don't need those things you just like to have those things. I saw a lot of people struggling with how to deal with the digital age. We've been given so many different tools to use all the time that our mind is always active and I think I think it's really quite damaging if we don't have the right tools in place. Over the past year I, I kind of got put in the spotlight back home in the UK which is so difficult to deal with if you've not been given the tools. Hats off to anybody who's done it. Um, and I just found that my, my meditation slipped quite a bit, my exercise regime slipped and something just said to me that um, I should go and be a monk for a month, maybe try and learn how I can actually bring these practices into my everyday life. I really want to learn more about Buddhism and I don't think there's a better way to learn than immersing yourself in a situation. I really want to learn how to meditate more because <laughs> my concentration lacks sometimes, so I could definitely do with some help with that. It's been great to get to know all the group actually. So there's a Portuguese guy, a lady from California, a boy, no, a young man uh, who's from Massachusetts and a couple from Norway and Denmark and a man who's also from South Africa. So we're all completely different but it's really nice because we're all quite similar as well. One of the things that I was quite nervous about coming here was that um, <laughs> I was concerned that it would be full of very extreme people who, who were really, really into this sort of stuff. And for me, this is um, me kind of dipping my toe in and figuring out what it's all about and um, an interest. And it's been really nice because I've got here and the others seem to be on the same page. They're um, just interested in learning more. The overall feeling's good. It's it's really interesting actually because there's a lot of debates that go on in the classroom. Uh, how different people's perspectives are. So you 
any given problem or topic, it's so interesting to hear it from a man's side, a woman's side, someone young, someone old, someone from Portugal, someone from England, like it is really interesting. Um, so that's the part that I really like. The experience with Brim Poche was great. He's the head of the monastery and just a really down to earth, nice, normal guy. Married, has a daughter who was actually along here. I think the problem with Buddhism and any sort of religion at the moment is people feel like they are restricted from doing things, but uh, the way that he, he spoke, he really um, showed that Buddhism wasn't really about a religion, it was more about just giving you the tools to be able to cope with suffering and actually learn the best way to live your life. And I guess, I think that's what a lot of people are searching for. I think a lot of people want answers on how to deal with the digital age, on how they can manage stress. And he spoke a lot, he, I mean, he could have been anybody's dad. He was just so natural, normal. I first came across Ecosphere when I googled where I could be a monk for a month and it came up and the, to, to be honest with you I really didn't know an awful lot about what they did because they don't advertise it too much but as I've got here the amount of stuff that they do is absolutely phenomenal. It makes you feel proud that other humans are out there doing things like this and actually want to give them a bit more of a voice as well. Ishita who actually runs the programme is probably one of the most humble people I've ever met and she probably does more than a lot of people that get a lot of recognitions. One of the main lessons that I've learnt from the gurus is uh, the difference between love and attachment. If you love something then you want to encourage it and you want to make it grow whereas I think what we know as love a lot of the time is attachment so this is mine um, which is what actually causes suffering so I do definitely think I've learned some things that I could take back home and apply to my everyday life. When I first came to the monastery I really didn't know what to expect but throughout the week I've really discovered that love and compassion play a huge part in not just our own happiness but in societies. In the digital age, I think we're all struggling with the fact that we have our phones glued to our hands at pretty much all the time. So put your phone down, talk to your friend, and let's make everyone a little bit happier.